Hi guys, welcome to Life Black Cross. I'm Trishin. In the last video, we have given you the claims of casting attributes. In this video, we will be showing more info about casting attributes. So, what casting attributes are? So, casting attributes will provide additional information to your elements. And casting attributes are specified in the start method. They look like name elements as the value. We always ensure that they should be declared or enclosed with double quotes, we should not use single quotes. If we use single quotes, they will not give the clear output what we want. So let's start with the first our HTML snippet. You will be understanding all these points in this video. Pause this video to that. So public pay and good and our first tag and Attribute will be image tag with SRC attribute. So, SRC attribute will help us to insert image to our web page. I will be copying the path of my image in this in between quotes. So, I will be copying my path. My path will be G drive and my image name will be um, this one anchor. So, I will write my path G drive backslash. Image name about JPG. So this one here is a absolute path. Okay. So I will save this as an attribute. Okay. Here. So you can see the image is a bit long. So we can change this according to the priorities. There is an attribute called width. So it's 50 pixel. With this, you can change your size of the image. And also, the height is an attribute. 250 pixel. And save. Refresh. Okay, what we have here. So we have drop fetch. So you can be always right to our syntaxes. We will not write that syntaxes. The page will not show error, the, the page will be blank. So, right, this one picks here and here. Save, refresh. So, image has been set according to your priorities. There is another tag called alt. So, the alt tag is used to display the details of the image. So, we are writing just image weapon. So, this will not be displayed on the page because this will only be displayed when the connection is weak only at the client side or the user side so we will be moving to our next tag and attribute which one is anchor tag anchor tag with the HTML attribute in this we will copy our YouTube link this one and between this course and here we will write the name of our link will be live x and save and refresh you will be seeing, seeing the link is here at address if we click in that it will be redirected to my youtube page here. so this is my youtube page So after that we will move to our next tag which is um, language tag and a and g so this language tag will help us help us and browser to understand in the which page the language is you have seen that sometimes we will be using the other language like Hindi or Russian or English the, the, the browser will say can can I translate can I translate so this innovation will be provided by the user who is creating the page to the browser so I will write en which is English and US so it will not show anything because the page is already in English all the things written in English here copy and save and we will move to our next tab which is style 
and account color is a property. And between these, I will write the color of your page will be yellow. It goes with this semicolon and save and I'll open my page. So the page color is yellow, the background color and my link and all this. So these are the basic attributes like image, SRC, width, height or all of the attributes of image tab and for the anchor tag the attribute is href and the language of the HTML is so these are all the attributes of the HTML. I mean I have provided a little innovation in the coming videos I have provided more innovation on these attributes. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching my video. If you understand my video then like it and subscribe to my channel for getting more videos.